many of the people in their 70s and 80s who gathered recently at the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation's Manhattan offices lived through the Nazi terror in Hungary. They all credited their lives to the same man, Raoul Wallenberg, a Swede who briefly ran the Budapest arm of a U.S. agency called the War Refugee Board. According to those witnesses, during his six months in Hungary in 1944, Wallenberg would coolly, calmly intervene to save Jews destined for concentration camps by handing out false Swedish identity papers, sometimes as Nazi and Hungarian fascist troops stood by. Those rescued were then sheltered in safe buildings, on which Wallenberg posted signs like Swedish Library to claim diplomatic status. Kayla Kaufman, now a great-grandmother, was one of the lucky ones. In the Talmud, it says if you save one life, it's like saving the world. She was saved along with her parents and three siblings. And today we are 201 people because of his miraculous work, his courageous work. And the 100,000 that he saved is probably a number of million today. Kaufman never met Wallenberg but says her father was plucked out of a death march by him. And he said when you saw this person, and for whatever reason it was, the Nazis sort of made way for him, he had this charisma, this like, yes I can, and you can't stop me, and uh, that kind of thing. He was a young kid, he was like 31, 32. Wallenberg, a Christian, survived the Nazis, but was arrested on suspicion he was a U.S. spy when Soviet troops took control of Budapest in January 1945. Twelve years later, Soviet officials released a document saying that Wallenberg had died of natural causes in a Moscow prison in 1947. But some reports suggest that he lived past that year and that he may have been executed. We still don't know what actually happened to the man. Holocaust historian Mordecai Paldiel says he is relatively certain that former Soviet KGB officials are still alive who know what happened to Wallenberg. So the Foundation and the survivors continue to press for Russian leaders to allow witnesses to speak and to release all records relating to Wallenberg. It's in the interest of everyone, including uh, the Russian authorities, to come out with the full story and to put it behind us. To that end, New York area survivors gathered in Manhattan to mark what would have been Raoul Wallenberg's 97th birthday and to add their signatures to a poster for a worldwide campaign, 100,000 names for 100,000 lives, aimed at uncovering Wallenberg's fate. The plea will be delivered to Russian President Dmitry Medvedev. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.